The River Mountains is a mountain range. Small as it is, it separates the Las Vegas Valley from the Lake Mead area. If you've ever been to Las Vegas and you look off to the east, you'll see these mountains. If you've ever been to Lake Mead, you'll see them as you look to the west. Uh, there's my camelback and some of my other equipment. It's time to go back hiking. So I got Stephen and we headed off toward those river mountains. They're not too far from my house. We're doing a lot of developing around here, a lot of houses going up, but we still have some nice areas that's not quite developed. This is the Burke Holder Trail. Now, this trail goes up to the River Mountains, not into it. There's one of our uh, local neighbors, the Ant Hill. But the uh, Burke Holder Trail is something I take a lot when I'm just out walking. It's about a good three-mile hike as I go from my house up to the River Mountains and back. But today, I wanted to actually get into the River Mountains. That's Las Vegas in the distance. As we ended the road and the last part of the Burkholder Trail, I'm looking over at the River Mountains at that point, and I've got about another half mile to go to get to it. That's BLM land, and right now, not developed. You can just go hiking off in there. Not a whole lot to see, but hey, it gets you off the road. Here's the last part of the Burkholder Trail. To the right, that's the water treatment facility for all of our area on the Solar panels are quite impressive. Off in the distance, the River Mountains. One other thing you have to deal with out here, we have a lot of power lines in this area to the east of me. That's simply because there's a lot of power coming in from Lake Mead. That's Stephen there looking at the River Mountains. We're now at the end of the Burke Holder, and we are at what's called the River Mountain Loop Trail, which is a paved trail that goes around the entire mountain range all the way over to Lake Las Vegas to the north there and then around to Lake Mead, 35 miles. So that's the junction there. That's the Burkholder Trail and looking back toward my house, that's the Black Mountains that you're looking at there. I've climbed a couple of those and there's the water treatment facility. Again, sweeping around and the River Mountain Loop Trail. You can go clockwise or counterclockwise. It's still 35 miles either way. This is a nice culvert that they painted up for the local basic high school. They come out here and do some artwork. Every now and then we get one of those rains that we need this kind of culvert. And there's some local tagging by some of those high schoolers and junior high schoolers. And this is how you get into the River Mountains from my house. That's a dirt road leading off from that culvert. Some of our bushes and some of our rock, igneous rock, uh, coming uh, from volcanoes. Really beautiful. Looks like huge chunks of coal. And a nice little walk down the dirt trail here. Uh, ATVs and some motorbikes, uh, probably off-trail stuff, can go through here. I don't know if it's legal or not, but they do it. And again, just a gorgeous blue sky as we usually get around here. And some of our rock formation. Here's the end of our trail for today. We're probably about a mile back in here now. And uh, this is just a valley just before you get to some more of the mountains and the river mountains. You'd have to cross those mountains to see Lake Mead and they're probably a good half mile to a mile. Sweeping around once again, we're looking back over toward where my house is. Those are the Black Mountains. Now I'm up on a hill there. You can see a little bit more. I really wanted to point out here all of those dirt trails where some of the ATVs and the uh, off-road motorbikes can go. That's off to the north there. That's Lake Las Vegas, as I was saying. That River Mountain Loop Trail goes over into that area, then comes around the mountains over to Lake Mead. On the other side of those hills, there's a plane in the distance bringing some more tourists to the Strip. And then down toward the south, if you keep going that way, you will come out to Boulder City. On our way back, we just decided to just take a few shots. It's a long way back from this point for us, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of two to two and a half miles. 
Just wanted to show off some more of that really beautiful rock. If you are into biking and you want to try that River Mountain Loop Trail, good luck. I don't think I can make the whole 35 miles, but maybe you can. I mentioned the blue skies. It's a rare day here when our skies don't look exactly like that. And another nice view of the rock up close. Doesn't it look like big chunks of coal? That's what it reminds me of each time. Now, not all the mountains look like that, but the ones in the, here in the River Mountains and in the Black Mountains do. They call them the Black Mountains because that's extremely dark rock that you see up there to the point to where it's, you see that very dark one there as it's sweeping around. Most of the rocks in Black Mountain area look like that. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. This is Jeff Allen Rule, and I hope you'll subscribe. I hope to put out some more videos of my hiking adventures and cruising and some of my music. Take care and have a good day.